Ta-da! Man, it's Matt. Let's, let's do this properly. All the other dreams felt real enough. Did you know that she waking up? Man, it's Matt. Welcome back to the shop. And today we're talking about, not that, we're talking about turbo compound engines. So this was a thing that was used in the Second World War uh, for aeroplanes. I can't remember what engine it was. Someone will tell me in the comments. Um, there's actually a bike at Santa Pod. Uh, one of the drag bikes. It's actually a turbo compound engine. And when we go back in May, April, May time, we'll literally go and hook up with them guys and have a look at their engine and have do a bit of an interview and a chat with them with the correct microphone. Any rod. <laughs> so what's a turbo compound engine? You have a crankshaft, let's just do a four cylinder, like so, and then what you do is you stick a big fucking turbine wheel, pretty much very similar to what you have in your turbo, and you it's directly attached to the crankshaft, and then what you do is all your exhaust ports are all branched together in a manifold that basically pass your exhaust gases into this turbine and then shit it out. Why do we do this? The heat that is in a, um, the waste heat in a sense that is in your exhaust gases still have energy in them and that energy can be extracted. Hence this whole turbine jobby where we can basically pass this through a turbine and then this helps drive the crankshaft. So when you attach this bad boy to a propeller, then you have a more efficient engine instead of using a turbo to basically boost the engine the problem with boosting engines with turbos is that it puts more internal stresses on the engine literally um, you know you're trying to cram more air in you're, which means you're cramming more oxygen in and more fuel in so you get more power now with planes and stuff and all the rest of it they are restricted this is the world war ii job is they are restricted by tip speed so the tip of the propeller um, you know you're starting to get close to the speed of sound so you don't want more power because you can't make your propeller go faster you can use a bigger rake on your propeller and stuff like that and try and shift more air um, but generally what you want to do is you want to make your planes go further and you know basically you don't want to add more fuel and use more fuel because that reduces your range you want more range um, so basically, this is like a, this is like uh, Formula One. It's an energy recovery system. The heat that pisses out your exhaust, instead of wasting it, pass it through a turbine, and booyah! Just like a power station, apart from its exhaust gases, not steam. This system um, is quite difficult-ish to attach to a motorcycle um, because with a plane engine going further back really isn't a problem by adding in this extra bit where as in with a motorbike you really don't want to go any wider you could do it with less cylinders and all the rest of it it's and the energy recovery is meh so so it's a bit more efficient to actually have this charger supercharger if you're after more power but that's basically what a, a, a turbo compound engine is that's one type there are other types that we will go into <laughs> Santa Pod one's a good example. There are other types of turbo compound. This is, we should just call this a crank driven, uh, a crank driven turbo compound. Um, there are other turbo compounds, multiple turbos and all this. We'll do a video on that as well. I just need to basically make a few templates so I can show you, because it's a tiny bit complicated. And it's, it, the balance is a bit, uh, but anyway, that's the turbo compounds that were used in generators and I'm sure there's a few ship engines and tank engines and plane engines and stuff that have been had this configuration in the past. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.